Hello, this is John Purcell from QuantumLifetime.com and in this tutorial we're going to look at magnetic fields. So we've been looking at energy a little bit and we want to connect energy with light and with photons but in order to do that we have to understand a bit more about light and to understand light we're going to have to look at magnetic and electric fields. So let's start with magnetic fields. Now apparently um, it was known to sailors a long time ago that there's a certain kind of rock called lodestone, lodestone in English and if you suspend a piece of this rock from a thread it will tend to orient itself uh, so that it points at the Earth's North Pole or the South Pole or you could say that it's orienting itself so that it um, lines up with the um, axis from the North Pole to the South Pole. But if you're in the North Pole, if you're uh, sorry, if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, you'll probably sort of tend to think that the lodestone is pointing at the Earth's North Pole. Now, uh, because of this, the these lodestones they were um, they were said to have a north-seeking pole and a south-seeking pole. So. If we, if we imagine um, a bit of really regularly shaped lodestone like this, one end of it will be called the north seeking pole and that tends to swing to point at the Earth's north pole and the other end the south seeking pole which tends to swing on a piece of thread to point at the Earth's south pole. Now it was found um, that if you take two of these and you put let's say the south pole of one near the south pole of the other, they actually tend to repel each other. So um, there'll be a force that tends to push them apart. And the north pole of one will tend to repel the north pole of another. So conversely, if you take one that's oriented this way, let's say, and another one oriented this way, so that the the two different the two different poles are near each other, the north pole of one will tend to attract the south pole of the other and the south pole of one will tend to attract the north pole of the other. Now if you think about it this means that the Earth's north pole is actually a magnetic south pole because um, this end, the so-called north pole of the lodestone or, the, or what we now call a magnet will tend to swing around until it points to the south pole of any other um, magnet or piece of lodestone. So um, the North Pole will tend to point at the North Pole of the Earth, but that's actually the South Pole in magnetic terms um, of, of the Earth. It's a magnetic, the North Pole of the Earth is actually the magnetic South Pole. So there's a bit of a confusing terminology. And we also know that um, magnets, as we now call them, will attract small pieces of certain kinds of metal, in particular iron and also some other kinds of metal. So um, what is the explanation for this? Well we think of the region, the space around the magnet as having a sort of magnetic field um, in it. So, um, And we draw the magnetic field typically using lines like this. The lines don't really exist as such but um, they're a representation of a kind of area of influence that the magnet has around it, or that the Earth has around it for that matter, because the Earth is a magnet. And in this region, certain objects like other magnets and certain kinds of bits of metal experience a force. And that's all we can really say about magnetic fields. They're a region of space in which certain kinds of objects are either pushed or pulled and the fundamental nature of them, although we do know more about it than we used to, in a way is still mysterious. Although it turns out that magnetic fields are connected intimately with something called electric fields, which we'll look at in the next tutorial. And while probably a lot of children know about magnetic fields, not all of them know about electric fields, even though it's very, very easy to observe electric fields. And you could do it right now with a simple experiment. So um, in the next tutorial we're going to look at electric fields and we're going to see um, what, they, what they are and we'll see that they are somewhat similar 
to magnetic fields. So that's it for this tutorial. You can find more videos at quantumlifetime.com. And until next time, keep it real.